Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Welcome to ShareTrek members. This is an early access video for CAR-T uh, for HIV. It's a new topic and um, the rest of the viewers will see this on Friday. And this is my way of saying thank you for being members. In my earlier members only video, if you recollect, I had explained CAR-T and possible ways in which CAR-T can be used to fight HIV. So that was all in a conceptual level. Today, I'm going to talk about an initiative in UCLA that started somewhere around 2018 and got uh, many grants. However, there is no recent news update. So I'll caution you about that. And uh, this uh, initiative is for using CAR-T to uh, cure HIV. Let me describe the approach uh, towards curing HIV uh, in this video. Uh, with that said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Uh, it all seems to have started somewhere around 2017 when an article was published on the sciencedaily.com and uh, it was about using gene therapy to engineer blood forming stem cells to carry chimic, chimeric antigen receptor genes to make cells that can detect and destroy HIV infected cells. These engineered cells not only destroyed the infected cells but also persisted for more than two years thus signaling long term immunity. Then in 2018, UCLA published an article on its website and described a UCLA-led team uh, which managed to create the stem cells and described the method in detail. After the uh, after that uh, particular article, uh, there was a lot of uh, buzz and finally they got uh, funding also from NIH. But uh, the what the UCLA team did was that uh, they engineered the stem cells and uh, implanted uh, implanted it in the body and they formed they found that it formed immune cells that not only destroyed HIV uh, infected cells but also uh, persisted for more than two years. And here is how they uh, engineered the immune cell. Uh, since HIV uses CD4 receptor to attack the CD4 T cell, the scientists programmed the chimeric antigen receptor to contain a part of the CD4 molecule in order to hijack the essential interaction between HIV and CD4 to make the engineered T cells target infected cells when the CD4 part of the CAR molecule binds to HIV, other regions of the CAR molecule signal the cell to become activated and kill the HIV infected cell. As per the team, uh, in animal tests, the researchers found that modifying the blood forming stem cells led to more than two years of uh, stable production of CAR expressing T cells without any adverse effects. In addition, the CAR expressing T cells were widely distributed throughout the lymphoid tissues and gastrointestinal tract. These are two key areas where HIV replicates and persists in people who have the virus. Most important, engineered CAR T cells were effective in attacking and killing HIV infected cells. If successful, uh, in clinical trials. One problem with this uh, therapy is that it needs specialized uh, uh, facilities uh, which are available only in select medical centers and research, research centers and the authors are now working on uh, techniques that could lessen the impact of blood cell transplantation and that would make the therapy more widely available uh, to uh, more people. So that's what they are working on. And uh, around uh, uh, July 2020, NIH granted them around $13.6 million as grant uh, for uh, work on this treatment. This is a five-year grant to the UCLA team and uh, will fund a collaboration between UCLA uh, and uh, CSL Bayering, which is a biotechnology company and University of Washington, as well as the Fred, Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center. Right now, I am unable to find um, more publications after 2020 that gives any update. I will keep track of this and uh, report back because anytime now, they may approach clinical trials and we'll have some news from them. And friends, uh, if I was to describe it the way I understand, uh, this may not be exactly how it works, but this is how I can visualize it working. Uh, so when they say that... Uh, the, uh, the stem cells are programmed to create uh, immune cells which are going to have chimeric antigen uh, receptors uh, that would target uh, HIV. So I am thinking that the chimeric antigen receptor is going to uh, hook up with the GP160 or GP40 uh, gag proteins on HIV which are not likely to mutate. So once it engages with them, 
uh, I think these uh, engineered cells do not have uh, any receptors that HIV can use and therefore uh, it is immune to HIV and it can kill the HIV virus. And uh, that's how I'm looking at it. Um, but uh, uh, if uh, Dr. Scott Kitchener decides to give us an interview either by email or on uh, Zoom, I think we'll have much better clarity on this. Uh, so friends, uh, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you like this video and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye for now.